but mine, and you probably who are watching this video kind of have your own reasons. But let's talk about the average Joe, right? Somebody who's just looking for a car. What would be the reasons for people to buy nowadays? And the reason I'm even mentioning this is because, as you know, after all this time, the sales of electric cars are only 1% of all global sales, and they're not really going up uh, uh, that fast. Um, so something needs to change, but I think the reasons why people that make sense for them to buy electric cars right now is still very limited. So I wanted to talk about it and of course find out your opinion. If you're watching this live on Patreon, please you know type it into the chat. But if you're watching this on the U uh, replay on YouTube, of course put it in the comment section. Uh, so let's get going right now. Take it over the world. All right, so the reason you're watching this video, by the way, not my regular news video is because I am in Milan, Italy, covering the Bytons unveiling of uh, their car in uh, in Italy. Uh, by the way, if uh, you are want to join, you know, become a part of this community, join us by clicking on the subscribe button on YouTube. And if you want to watch my videos live on Patreon and participate, please go to patreon.com slash e4electric and become one of the contributors who support the show. And I really, really appreciate that. All right. So yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 I'll have a bunch of videos, obviously, from uh, Italy about this car. I already covered it at CES in January. I think it's one of the most amazing prototypes I've ever seen. Looking forward uh, to hanging out with them at uh, Milan's Design Week. Uh, once again, with their crew, check out the car. Hopefully this time it won't rain, even though I know it's going to rain in Milan when I'm there. Last time I couldn't test drive it because of the rain, but still, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. Uh, but uh, let's talk about why people... Uh, buy electric cars and um there are very few of those reasons right one of them is like myself i wanted to make a difference when i saw tesla i thought hey listen uh, this is a way for my lazy generation i'm 40 uh to do something I, I feel like the generations before mine they did something for this world and we really haven't and this is a way for us to do a lot of things one help the environment right obviously you can believe in global warming you don't have to believe in global warming but the fact is if you go to a lot of cities like la a lot of you know, cities in china um there are just you can't you can't you can see that how bad the air is there are a lot of deaths um uh, that are linked to lung diseases that are linked to uh diesel fumes and gas fumes uh just whenever you breathe with something that's been burned before you inhale it i hope any reasonable person assumes that it's bad okay so that's one thing is you know cleaning up just our the, the, our kids lungs okay well your kids lungs actually i don't have any children <laughs> so but then the, the people who will pay our social security okay cleaning up their lungs making sure they don't die before they pay up <laughs> okay i'm just gonna give you a financial reason if anything um joking of course but um the other one is uh, you know we here in the united states and a lot of you watching in other countries you know, we fight a lot of wars out there in countries where we have to get that oil from, right? And there are other countries that have leverage over us because of that. Um, if we lose that dependency on oil, we would not, a lot of people wouldn't have to die. I don't care uh, from which sides, but a lot of innocent people die. And I feel like this was a way for me and my generation to make a difference and maybe have less people die and i think it's a good thing uh and there are a lot of other reasons i think but uh for now these are the two ones that that were close to my heart um if you have another one please come you know put it in the comment section i would love to hear it but that's a reason number one um uh, another reason is the tech um i think this is one of the best i mean i felt when i saw this car in 2012 that's when i put myself on the reservation list or maybe like late 2011 i thought but oh my god this is what a car should be like right now. It should be like tech on wheels. You know, we have all this technology. Get it in front of me. Um, get it in front of me. And I mean, there are some, some things that are not perfect. And, you know, I just had a video of top 10 things that I hate about my Tesla. Um, and uh, a, a few of them are technology integrations and shortcomings. But this is still the best car out there because uh, of all of the technology. And if, if people want this technology, Tesla is by far the best. And it's not just the, the electronics, right? Just what goes into the battery technology and performance technology and so forth is amazing. If you're into it, this is a car for you. Um, let's move on to the next one. It's performance. I mean, unless you're buying yourself a supercar, a very expensive sports car, that's also cannot be your family car or daily commuter. Here you can have everything. Performance is amazing. I mean, I have 70D and a regular 60, and these cars 
fly. I mean, any electric motor will give you an amazing uh, uh, torque, uh, but with Tesla specifically, um, they are also have really, really amazing performance. But at the same time, again, you can drive your family in it. It's pretty spacious. You can, you know, hold crap with it. So the performance is not just how fast you take off on, uh, on off of the light, but also in many different other ways. Um, that just the torque going uphill, you know, or, or hauling a trailer. Um, so if, you know, all of the Teslas right now are done in four wheel drive. And I, you know, I, I know this video is more than about Tesla, but this is definitely, I mean, Tesla is out there as an example of electric car. Um, so that's, that's definitely important, uh, important is performance, saving money. Now, I know Teslas are not expensive. I mean, they're not cheap, they're expensive. But if you are buying an expensive car, this is actually still a bargain. I mean, you get about $10,000 off, you know, in many places in the world. You save a lot of money on uh, not having to buy gas or doing, you know, oil changes or tune-ups or transmission fuel changes or transmit or even brakes. You don't have to change them as often. So you do save money. So if you're looking for, um, you know, a $60,000 car, and I mean, you, you can calculate it. It's even less than that after in incentives or, or after the, you know, gas savings. Um, this is the best car you can get. You're actually saving money on a uh, luxury high performance uh, a car where you would have to spend 120, 130 on it, you get the same thing for 60 or 70. But if you're shopping for something smaller, even, you know, I, I know, I, I know I'm not a fan of the BMW i3s and the earlier Leafs and everything, but you still save a lot of money because yeah, you can buy those for very cheap for what they are uh, because of the incentives, because of the savings, because of the time, because of the same things that I've mentioned. Um, so you do save money uh, and you get to use a carpool lane in a lot of times and use uh, much closer parking spots uh, in a lot of parking and not just uh, not, not par parking structures and, and parking lots. So and you're saving time, uh, which is money. So that's, you know, that's definitely a big, big reason why some people buy those cars. Um, and um, yeah, that's I just had a had different slide for it. I forgot I had it uh, because I was talking about the Tesla, but I also wanted to see to, to, to say that you can still save money with smaller cars with a smaller range that are not luxury Tesla cars or Porsche or Jaguar and so forth. But um, let's talk about this. Let's talk about charging. Obviously, this is um, no matter uh, which one of those reasons you're buying this car for, it's all going to be about how much sacrifice you want to uh, um, you want to uh, uh, have uh, in order to charge your car. Now, I don't have to sacrifice much myself because I have a Tesla, I have a charger at home right here, no big deal. Superchargers all over the Bay Area, no problem. But some people, it's it's a pain, right? They don't even either can't have a charger at home or they don't have it or they have a you know non-Tesla car where you don't have a fast charging network. So if you can still work around that, that's uh, uh, then yes. But if you can't, those three reasons that I've mentioned or four reasons that I've mentioned may just not even be enough for that. So just wanted to mention that uh, because like in this case, uh, uh, this is something that for Tesla uh, owners who have charges at their homes or apartment complexes, this is definitely something that separates us from the rest of the electric car owners because we don't have to worry about it as much. Let me know if I miss anything. Let me know if you had a reason to buy an electric car that I didn't mention, um, or if you think one of the reasons I did mention may not be good reason enough. I'm definitely willing to entertain. Uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be posting my Byton videos very soon, um, and I I hope you don't miss it. I, I just just a, a trip to Italy and just to see how it's done in Europe. I think is going to be very very interesting. Uh, of course, stay tuned. This uh, coming Saturday, I'm going to be covering the uh, my Tesla trip uh, here in California. If you want to join us, if you live somewhere here in California, um, TeslaRoadtrip.com, I believe. Uh, is the website so you can register and join us. I'm going to try to stream live, but definitely going to cover it instead of my Saturday interview. Um, and after that, I have quite a few cool guests line up. Zach and Jesse from Now You Know. I'm going to have a VP of a Workhorse right here as well. Uh, I've met John before, so I know that's going to be fun. And Henrik Fisker just confirmed. So, and many, many more I'm, I'm still working on now. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, watch me on Patreon because that way you can participate and ask questions live uh, and watch it live. So I hope you join patreon.com slash E4 electric. All right, guys, I've had a lot of fun uh, with this. Um, back to um, regular news tomorrow. Um, other than that, uh, I hope to see you then. And remember to stay charged.